Hi, thanks for taking some time to watch our video today. Uh, today in this video we are going to be focused on our Fieldmaster Pro MS2090A, the premium handheld spectrum analyzer. Uh, in particular we're going to focus on the IQ capture functionality. Before I dive into specific functionality, just a brief discussion on why somebody would want to have IQ capture capability. Um, a spectrum analyzer is a great tool for viewing amplitude and frequency of RF signals, but most quality spectrum analyzers capture data much faster than they can display it on a screen. So all the information you see on the screen is really many, many samples summarized into a trace. Uh, even a real-time spectrum analyzer, which adds much finer detail, is still taking millions of samples and summarizing them into different colors on your screen. The amount of samples that the hardware is typically able to take is many, many more than can even be seen by the human eye if you were to try to display it. So uh, the Fieldmaster Pro, um, by offering IQ capture capabilities, um, it utilizes advanced hardware that we have inside the instrument to take that those millions of samples that we take a second and allow you to play them back in a summarized way to slow down the playback look at it sample by sample and see a much finer detail of the signals to start to pull out signal characteristics track the signal behavior over time and even be able to with the I and Q look at the modulation quality of the signal so our Fieldmaster Pro uh, specifically offers never before seen functionality in a handheld spectrum analyzer. Uh, we offer 110 megahertz of capture bandwidth, which is done at a 200 mega sample per second speed. Um, we have different capture lengths. We've opened up a full two gigabytes of RAM dedicated to IQ capture, which essentially means that when you're doing these wide captures, you can still get, if you look at our table here on the right, you can still get at um, full bit depths a 1.34 second uh, amount, uh, amount of capture. Um, and then as you scale down in bandwidth you can get up to hours worth of capture with that much time. So that's variable for the user. We do offer flexibility in sample format, so in the bit resolution. Uh, the reason for that is that when you're looking at more narrow captures uh, you can get more resolution. With, with a higher bit depth you can get more resolution in the noise floor. Uh, as you go wider in capture the noise floor of the instrument rises up and that bit depth maybe doesn't do you as much good so you can save data by going to a sh smaller 8 or 10 bit uh, resolution. We offer timestamps on all the data and different saving options. Uh, so if I'm going to actually open up, I'm connected to an instrument here remotely. I'm going to open up our IQ uh, menus and show you a little bit about what we have here. So when I open up the menu, my IQ capture table opens up here. Uh, before I start the capture, I want to check my setup. I can set up the instrument to capture either single or continuous or streaming. We're going to talk about streaming in a separate video. Uh, but with capturing single or continuous, essentially single means that once I've initiated the capture, it will complete the capture, save the capture, and then it will uh, stop and wait for another for it to be started again. In continuous, it will finish the capture, save the capture, and once the capture is saved, it will immediately start another one until it's told to stop. Uh, I mentioned our bandwidth options, so selecting here you can look at your table and matching your uh, bandwidth to your sample rate uh, anywhere from this 110 megahertz down to uh, uh, much lower, in this case with RTSA, 1.25 megahertz capture. Um, we offer uh, timestamps on or off. With the capture length, if you want to look at uh, what is my maximum capture length, you look here in the table and this basically takes your settings here depending on the bandwidth. So in this case <clears throat> we're going to look at a narrower signal. So let's pick a 20 megahertz uh, bandwidth. And you see here my max length is something around 10,000 milliseconds worth of data. So that information uh, then I can use that to then uh, decide how long I want to make my capture. In this case we don't want to set anything too long because we don't want to uh, fill up the memory of our instrument. Um, so you can fill that up to a full two gigabytes and then once that's captured it will go into the available memory of the instrument and then that will update. Um, right now its trigger type is a free run. It is ready. Uh, we're going to go over triggers here in a second. This is where you can pick your uh, resolution. We can do something like a 16-bit resolution to save some storage space. 
and then you can choose to either save the capture internally to internal memory or you can save it directly to USB if you want to save a step in transferring. All right. Uh, so then if we look at our triggering capabilities this is where things get really fun. Uh, we offer a free run trigger so this is essentially pushing a button. Uh, we also offer an external trigger so if you have a stimulus where you want to uh, synchronize your trigger to an external source you can do it that way. We also offer a video trigger so essentially by creating uh, setting a video line we create this limit line and anytime RF energy crosses that line we then begin to uh, initiate the capture uh, and then uh, either stop stop capturing or continue waiting for another trigger. You can also set intervals so if you wanted to do your capturing uh, once an hour, once every five minutes, every ten minutes you can set that interval and it will automatically make those captures for you. We also offer a trigger delay and what's nice here is we offer a negative trigger delay which is the same as a pre-trigger so essentially if you have a signal that you want to capture 100 milliseconds but you want to know what happened in the 10 milliseconds before that then you could essentially uh, set your capture time to 110 milliseconds with a negative 10 millisecond delay uh, and then that will capture that 10 milliseconds before the trigger actually happens okay so if we look at that on our instrument again if I come to my trigger menu uh, let's set this to a video trigger. We're going to set our level at something closer to minus 50 dBm, right near our noise floor there. Um, and uh, we could set, like I said, we could set a negative trigger delay in milliseconds. Okay, and then return back to my setup. We're going to do, let's say, 100 millisecond capture. All right, and now. Uh, because my trigger type is set to video, when I hit start capture, <clears throat> it's going to be waiting for a trigger. So essentially it's waiting for some stimulus to cross that level line. So as soon as I get a stimulus there, you can see that it was started saving. It's now saved the data. The IQ capture is complete. The file is saved. And then if I go into the file menu of the instrument, uh, I can go in there and pull out that file and have it ready for post-processing. So uh, the Fieldmaster Pro itself is a valuable tool in any sort of IQ application. Uh, the things we want you to take away is that you can measure with confidence. This is a premium handheld analyzer with premium RF specifications, the best RF specifications of any handheld analyzer on the market. Full frequency coverage up to 54 gigahertz, so any signals that you're trying to analyze um, up to that range, we can do that. Uh, we offer more capture data, so with the 2 gigabytes of RAM, the 110 megahertz bandwidth, you can get more data for your applications. And then it's configurable for your needs. We've offered all of the different op options for capturing. Uh, I mentioned we'll also talk about streaming in a future video, uh, selectable bit depths, uh, and all, all sorts of ways to save and post-process your data. So thank you for taking your time to join us for this video today. We hope it's been informative. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to your local Anritsu uh, sales representative, and we will get back to you with more information.